So I want to address something really quick. In my previous video where I picked one song from every album of Six Feet Under's uh, discography, I actually missed out on one album, Crypt of the Devil. Uh, and after listening to the entire album today, uh, I really can't tell you which song I would recommend anybody. It's just not that great of an album. Someone actually called me out on it in that video, on that Six Feet Under video. Um, so I apologize for that, but sorry, the album just kind of sucked. I, it sounded awful. The production just sounded awful all the way through, and it's probably... It might be my least favorite Six Feet Under album, uh, like through their entire discography, and that is a massive feat because Nightmares of the Decomposed exists. But even in those albums, I was able to find one song that I would say, like, are really good to listen to, and I would recommend. Um, I don't know. I guess I could. I guess I could just say, go listen to the first song on the album and determine if, or de make your own decision if you want to listen to it. Okay, now let's get to this video. What is up, Smoky Bears and Nice Chairs? That's right. I'm stealing WestJet's intro style. Fuck you. Just kidding. I really like your videos, buddy. So you may have seen, or maybe not. I don't know. My last video where I picked one song from each Six Feet Under album. That was hard to do because I can really only recommend the first few albums. I'd say I'd say from Haunted to Commandment uh, are albums that I would actually recommend you listen to. But everything else, whatever. Although their new album wasn't that bad, I'll be honest. But in this video, I'm gonna be covering my favorite band of all time. And no, it's not Slaughter to Prevail, even though I have their mask. I just really like the mask. I am going to be talking about Imure, literally my favorite band of all time. I really, really wanted to do this. I was going to do Cannibal Corpse next. Honestly, I really just want to do Imure right now because I've been listening to Imure pretty much all day. This was actually going to be really hard because out of their entire discography, I don't think there is a single song that they have in any of their albums that I would skip. Personally, yeah, I'm gonna be going through their entire discography. I'm even gonna be including um, their EP, uh, The Complete Guide to Needlework. So, starting from the very bottom, I'm gonna be picking 22 Exits Away from The Complete Guide to Needlework, released in 2006. What is Released in 2007, Goodbye to the Gallows is their first feature-length album. The entire album is is amazing start to finish, um, but my personal favorite on that entire album is 10 Signs You Should Leave. What? I'm glad I did! An album that I don't really ever see anybody talking about, uh, The Respect Issue, released in 2008. I would have to say Soundwave Superior is the best song on that entire fucking album. Released in 2009, this has to be in one of Emir's heaviest uh, albums to date. Uh, Felony is just straight, like, it, I, I can't even put it into words how fucking brutal it is. The opening track, Sunday Bacon, is easily the, the best one on that entire album. But, if I'm going to be honest, this is just between you and me. Every single song on there is, like, to me, a 10 out of 10. Of 
Released in 2011, this is probably in one of Emir's most notable albums. Speaker of the Dead, again released in 2011. To me, not as brutal as Felony, but it's still a fucking awesome album. And Area 6466 uh, is the prime example of that. An album everyone seems to really hate when it comes to Emir. It's one of the lower rated albums on a lot of websites that where you're able to uh, review artists' music and albums. Um, Slave to the Game is, to me, is a really good album. It, it's not their best work, but I like it a lot. And it's kind of sad to see that uh, Frankie Palmieri the lead singer seems to fucking hate this album and it is a little unfortunate because I really like it and I, I've I've talked to a lot of people uh, in the in the Amir cult that really like this album and a lot of the songs on there me personally like I said not their best work but a really good album and I think what cements that thought is Proto Man Another album that everyone really hates by Emir, it, it's got like a more of like a, a new metal uh, type of feel going on. Uh, I like the album. Uh, if I had to rank all of the uh, albums by Emir, this would probably go at the very bottom. But I mean, it, it's like trying to ask me like, like how, how would I rank the Call of Duty franchise? Uh, I would put Vanguard at the very bottom. But it's not because it's a bad game, it's just when you compare it to every other game in the series, it's uh, it's the worst because every other game in that series is just leaps and bounds better than Vanguard. But doesn't mean Vanguard is a bad game. Same with uh, Eternal Enemies, released in 2014 by Emir. It's not their best album, it's their worst album, but that's not saying that it's a bad album. It's an awesome album. I really like it. Um, and to me, I pick New Age Rambler because it's the one that I can personally relate to the most. Out of any Amir song, it's the one that I can personally relate to the most. Mother speaking. Don't mess me about how I feel today. It's just another city. Released in 2017, this is the great mother of Emir albums. This album, I actually own it. It's an awesome album from start to finish. And it's the it's probably the album that really put Emir on the map. It, it's evident when you go and look at this album on Spotify and you see a lot of tens of millions of plays on some of these songs. My personal favorite on the entire album, easily, is Flag of the Beast. Probably probably one of their most popular songs. And to me, I mean, well, I mean, there's a reason for that. And it's mine, because holy shit. Finally, we're at the most recent album that came out in 2020, uh, Hindsight, another album that I own. It's great all the way through, uh, just like all of the other albums. Um, this one definitely really has a lot of new metal influence, uh, maybe, I don't know. I, I definitely know Thundermouth has a lot of like corn in it, especially at the, at the very end. But it's not my personal pick, 
for that album. It actually goes to... Well, this might be a first. It might not be the last, actually. But I'm actually going to give two songs because these are both equally, not even kidding, equally fucking brutal and awesome. Pig's Ear. You can see that I am and Gypsy Disco. Well, that basically wraps up this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Tell me, what's your favorite album from uh, Emir? What's your favorite song from Emir? Maybe you don't like Amir at all, but there's one song that's like, yeah, it's not that bad. Maybe you absolutely love Amir and you want to list all of their songs in the comment. And yeah, I think I'm just going to wrap it up there. I'm going to go, I don't know, probably play Super Market Simulator. <laughs> Later.